Hi, I'm Diane Dodge, and today I want to talk to you about a scripture that I love, and it has become especially encouraging to me while we're dealing with the pandemic of the COVID-19. And that scripture is 1 Peter 5, 7, which says, cast your anxiety upon the Lord because he cares for you. So that scripture um, sounds really good. And of course, none of us want to hold on to anxiety. Nobody wants anxiety. But practically speaking, how do we actually cast our anxiety upon him so we don't have to hold on to it? And that's a question I've actually been asking myself as this last month has unfolded and we've seen lots of um, fear and people dying, especially in New York right now. So when you're seeing all this negative news and when I'm seeing all this negative news, what do you do? How do you care about people that are going through a hard time and still not live in a state of fear and anxiety? Well, one of the things that I have really tried to do is I've tried to really protect and be deliberate about what I put into my mind. So even though I might spend a few minutes each day checking out the news so I know what's going on, or even every other day, um, I try to make sure that I meditate more on God's Word and spending time in prayer than I do on negative news. Because whatever you put your mind to, that's what's going to be going through your head. That's just the way God made us, and that's the way God made me. So I've had to make a choice, and so just to meditate on things that are lovely and excellent, um, while at the same time pray for people that are going through a tough time. Um, and it's a hard balance to strike. It's been a very hard balance for me to strike. Um, but God is faithful and he has helped me so much um, to do this. So anyway, I just want to encourage you to choose what you spend your time meditating on, how much news you're allowing into your mind, and also to be really deliberate about putting God's word in and just spending time in prayer and taking all these things to the Lord um, because he wants to help us. He wants to give us peace. That is his will for us in Christ Jesus is to be filled with peace because the more peace we can receive from him, the more we can give it out to others. So God bless you and have an amazing day.